So that was what I was going through. So anyway, that's when God presented me to uh, this riddle. Let's go to Psalms chapter 90. Real fast. Yeah. I'm going to take a sip. Do what my wife said. And my wife on the front was like baseball. She's always giving me hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll drink some. So um, in Psalm cha uh, chapter 90, uh, the 90th Psalm, it says, uh, Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born, uh, um, or, you, or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn men back to dust, saying, return to dust, O son of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. So here we got it again, right? That a thousand years is a, is a, is a day to God. Because he said, he says, for a thousand years in your sight is as a day that has just gone by. Or like a watch in the, in, in the night. You sweep men away in the dust of death. They are like uh, new grass of the morning. Uh, though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it dries and withers. We are consumed by our anger and terrified by indignation. You have set our, uh, our iniquities before you, uh, our secret sin in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under, under your wrath. We finish our years uh, with a moan. The length of our days is 70 years, or 80 if we have the strength. Uh, yet their span is, is but trouble and sorrow. For quickly, it says, for they quickly pass away, pass and we fly away. It says, who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is great as, as the fear that is due you. Teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So God wants us to understand how to number your days. Because how God is counting time and how man is counting time may be two completely different ways, okay? God is on a thousand year cycle, but now we want to talk about something else. And to do that, um, I'm listening. Let's go to Exodus chapter 12. When you get to Exodus chapter 12, let me know. Say amen. Only one or two, so I'm going to wait. Y'all not there. Y'all just saying it because you're going to embarrass that you found it yet. <laughs> when you get to Exodus chapter 12, say amen. Amen. Praise God. Now I think I can go. It says, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day, of the month, each man is to take a lamb from for his family, one for each household. So what's about to happen here? They are about to come out of Egypt. All the Jews that have been enslaved in Egypt for, for 400 years are now about to come out of Egypt. And God, to commemorate his day, says, ah, from now on, I want this month to be the first month of the year for you. Understand? So God began to create his own calendar at this very present time. And God's calendar goes from Passover, the first of Nisan, to Passover, the, the, the first of Nisan, the next year. You understand? So God does not start, start his year 
on January like we stay out our year in January. We think to ourselves, well, it's January and we're singing Happy New Year, so God must be saying Happy New Year too. God is like, I'm not self, I don't celebrate my new year until the first of Nisan, which is about what we call April 1st, right? So around April 1st, around April, the end of March, April, God has his new year. The Jews have a completely different calendar. Please educate yourself. The Jews, when you say, they say it's the, it's the 14th of Nisan, or it's the 12th of Adar, or it's the 15th of Kesedon. They, they, they're on God's calendar. The world, the world is on a Gregorian calendar, which is January, February, March, April, May, right? Now, where did we get a Gregorian calendar? If God already set a calendar, where did we get a calendar uh, that goes completely against the structure of God? Because if God says that Nisan is the first of the month, where do we get a calendar that says, no, uh, April won't be the first of the month. We're going to start our month in January. Let's be educated. Now, Pastor Ben printed this up for me. I just told him one page, but yeah, he's excellent. He always got to put a booklet, put a title on it. Put my, put my cards in the front. <laughs> it's just excellent. Some people are like that, you know. They just, you know, whatever they do, it's like you got to tell them. It's not really, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because if you don't say that, they'll do it perfect. Okay, now. The history of the calendar is this. God said the first of Nisan will be the beginning of years for you. God set a calendar. What does Satan do whenever God creates something? He tries to make it, he corrupts it. Exactly. He's going to corrupt it. If God says that, that marriage is, it, it is the only uh, relationship that he honors, then Satan will come and, and, and give you a hundred movies of people just jumping in bed before they even get married, right? Because Satan is trying to teach you the opposite of God so that you get on his plan and not God's plan. Yes. If God says, um, uh, uh, watch the language that comes out of your mouth and let no filthy communication proceed from your mouth, right? That's a scripture. But Satan will show you through movies or advertisement, oh, see, everybody curses, you just use it to express yourself. And see, so whatever Satan creates, I mean, whatever God creates, Satan is going to come around later and corrupt what God has created. And so that's what Satan has done with the calendar system. So um, let me read this real fast for you. I hope... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to read this. It says, the Roman, the Roman Julian calendar was fixed on a solar uh, calendar, locked, uh, locked with the seasons, having no relationship with the moon. Now, let me explain to you something. The first of Nisan, you know how you know it's the first of Nisan? There's a thin moon in the sky. It's called the new moon. Rosh Hashanah which is the, 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 the new moon starting a new month. And that new moon is going to give you the beginning of the year on the first of Nisan. The moon is on a perfect calendar with God. You understand? So that nothing gets thrown off with God. You can't mess with God's calendar. He knows exactly when he started it, and he knows exactly when he's going to end it. Because his moon cycles never switch. But us, we like, when is Easter this year? Well, I don't know. It might be on the 3rd of April. It might be on the 14th. Every year, April, I mean, Easter is a different day, right? But with God, the, the first of Nisan is always the first of Nisan. Rosh Hashanah is always on the first. His, his calendar is so perfect that if you stay on God's calendar, all of his holidays will land exactly on moon calendars. But here we have the Julian calendar, and it's set on a, it's a solar calendar, okay? So Satan created a solar calendar with no relationship to the moon. It exists 
only until October 4th, 1882. 